This is the Lauhu Go No. 12 Glacier. Spanning over 7.7 .7 square miles, it's the largest glacier in the Quilin mountain range of northern China. But rising temperatures are causing it to shrink at a record pace. Ching Cheng is the director at the local monitoring station. When I first came here in 2005, the glacier was around that point there, where the river curves around. But now, after around 15 years, the whole glacier has shrunk by more than 150 meters. The speed that this glacier has been shrinking has shocked me. It has been so rapid. And it's not just the Laohugo Glacier that's retreating. The outlook is grim for all of the 2,684 glaciers in the Quillian mountain range. Average temperatures have risen 35 degrees Fahrenheit since the 1950s. Snowfall has increased too, but it's not nearly enough to compensate for the loss of the glaciers caused by global warming, according to Chin. The 47-year-old scientists have been monitoring the Quillian snow sheets over the past 15 years. He describes the glacier as an old friend. The glacier began shrinking at a faster rate in the mid-1980s. By the end of the 1990s, it started shrinking at an even faster rate. Then after we entered this new century, our glaciers continued to shrink at a quite a rapid rate. Initially, monitoring results suggest that since the year 2000, the glacier has been shrinking at a rate of about 10 or so meters per year. That is, in fact, not a very healthy sign, because the rate that it is shrinking just keeps getting faster. At present, however, glacial melt is a temporary bonus for the water supply in the region. In the stream near the Lahugo No. 12, runoff is about double what it was 60 years ago, according to Chin. In a dry region like northwestern China, water is a lifeline for local farmers. But this bounty of extra melting water won't go on forever. Chin and his colleagues predict that glaciers might disappear by 2050, leading to a future water crisis. It does worry us, but now the climate across the entire world is warming and we cannot stop this warming process. The only thing that we can do now is to minimize the impact of global warming on the glaciers.